guys we are back with a new game and i was on the fence with this one because i didn't really want to pay full price for it um remember i'm not monetized or anything with youtube or anything like that all the games that i get are coming out of pocket but i'm a gamer so you know typical for me but uh yeah this one i was on the fence about because i didn't want to pay full price for a game you know that i've I've completed two out of the three games already. I do like uh, Mass Effect 2. It's actually one of my most favorite games ever. Um, I played it on PS3 and I love that game. Never platinumed it, but um, thoroughly enjoyed the game. I've never played Mass Effect 1. So um, I was thinking, you know, I'll wait for this to go a little cheaper in price, but. Uh, I finished Returnal and I just I, f I felt like I felt like playing it so we have Guilty Gear Strive which it's only a, an open beta this weekend comes out in June I think so uh, once this weekend's over then I'm back to basically uh, Avengers don't know about Outriders right now. It's got some bugs in it that pretty much one-shot you. I kind of want to wait for that stuff to get fixed. Um, but I have finished the game. I did get a character all the way to... Um, uh, what is it? Champion tier 15. Um, I consider that to be kind of playing the game. And I'm beating it. Um, I didn't do the um, Eye of the Storm. That you have to have a coordinated group and stuff like that. And it just... Yeah. I kind of enjoy doing the things myself in that game. There might be a few more videos coming from Returnal, uh, just because uh, once we finish the game, there is other stuff to do in it afterwards. I don't know if I'm going to carry on and do a complete rerun of the whole game again. It's, it's super, super stressful. And the fact that I can't turn it off on a good run really hurts my ability to upload other content. So, yeah. Anyway, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Can even speak there a second? Legendary Edition. Play it. Sounds a bit loud. Okay, trying to collect my data. Are there no options? Out of the three, Mass Effect 3 was probably the worst. Well, I haven't played one. But three, the story kind of sucked in it, but I hear they changed it. So I played it when it first came out, and I played the crap story, I guess. And then they changed it. So I'm wondering if this is the exact one that I played, or whether it's one that uh, they changed it to. Anyway, um, we're going to play the first one. Kind of a weird cutscene, but... Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So in the past, I've always picked the uh, the female character. Um, I don't think it's going to be any different here, but uh... hey, what's the difference between this? Enter a new ID.
All right. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Alright, so this is where I get to pick my past and stuff. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindwar. Small border colony in the Attican Traverse. For 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends out. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. That sounds more like a revenge thing. Um, Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises, covering Earth. Escape the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. It gets worse and worse. All right, we'll go with uh, we'll go with this Confirm one. Confirm psychological profile. Soul survivor. During your service a mission, you went were on went horribly. Ah, can you speak? A mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torment, psychological stresses that would have broken most people. Survived while all those around you fell. Now, you alone are left to tell the tale. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. The bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. Called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Yeah, we're definitely ruthless. Confirm military specialization. Right, soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines. Firefight. Soldiers have improved health. Specialize in the use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor. Train in the use of heavy armor. Alright. Uh, engineer. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic omni tool, they can decrypt security systems. Repair or modify technical equipment. Disrupt enemy weapons or shields. And heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor. They specialize in pistols. Um, adept. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants. can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects. Heal the squad and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, they specialize in pistols. I think I always go Infiltrator, but uh, let's have a look. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities, rather than healing. Alright, they can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinel. Combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than any other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can wear only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. And a vanguard. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents are especially deadly at short range. Might be good. 
I honestly haven't played this game in a long time. They specialized in pistols and shotguns and went medium armor. So I haven't been a fan of shotguns in a lot of games. But I will say this. Shotguns have grown on me um, within the past couple games I've been playing. They are super, super strong. I am going to go on my usual route and go infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. What's wrong with her eyes? I think it's cycling through the same ones again. Go with this, but I don't like the hair. chin turn her into the joker here how's it going Even make any difference because be wearing a helmet anyway. Uh, chin height, chin depth, chin width. Kind of looks normal, right? Well, I'm going for normal. Some of these lips on greatest. Of a normal nose, I guess. There we go, hair, finally. white hair what kind of hairstyle is that see the back of her head Cornrows, go why not? And no eyebrows. Where's the mono brow? That's good enough.
can't even see any of that. Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah, that looks good to me. Identification confirmed. Go normal. Um, points must be manually assigned using the squad screen each time Shepard or any squad members gain a level. Points automatically assigned to appropriate talents each team each time. Squad member gains a level. Points must be manually assigned using the squad screen whenever Shepard gains a level. Yep. Um, in classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be instead of the new 1 to 30 range. XP and talent points progression remains the same. But the number of levels is doubled. Don't know the difference between those. Subtitles on. Go to all there. Auto save on. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that could. Oh my god, that was so fast! I thought I'd give you guys some commentary, but nope. Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Is 
there a timer on this? You're overreacting. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right. You have control. Character looks like a zombie. Just how I wanted that to look. Let me just, um... Change the sound. I want to put the volume down a bit. Should be good. Calibration. That play around with. Ocean blur. Off. Home grain off. Quality of a frame rate on an old game? Nope. Good quality. We've already done that. Right, carry on here. I just saw him. He marked file like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place specters visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. 
We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Think new stuff. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! We need evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. Nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Almost looks like a hand. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two.
Construction perimeter secure, Commander. Right, so we got a helmet on. This place got hit hard. Weapon. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. LA. Oh, I switched the weapon. Was that? That took forever to uh got these other weapons on my back, but there we go. A little weird. Okay, so these are my friends. These are mine by the looks of it. Little look around. Doesn't sprint very fast. Omni gel. We explain a lot. There were ammo. Am I limited to ammo. Don't want to run any faster. Overly cautious. Remake graphic pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, so the weapons over here. Oh my god, I healed without even uh, me to do that. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yep, I actually hit the mini job by accident. And my team's wrecking. We've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Okay. So a quick look at these skill points allocation. So pistols are gonna be good for close range for us. We have a sniper, but I guess we can't level it up yet. At Glamour.
Oh, it might be good. Intimidate might be good as well. Not right now, but... Go that for now. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. So she doesn't run? When the pistol's out. I think showing up on the mini map. Okay, use to order your squad at attack target. Left to right to send them ahead. Use them as bait, All right? Get behind cover. That's the uh, our friend there. Boom! Headshot. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the Two Twelve. He the one who charged your ma'am. Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Move out! Badass. Thought I selected uh, auto level up for my squad. All right. Yeah, for leveling, I think. Um, actually, this switch uh, R two is key. <laughs> L2 Shepard. Yeah, she looks better with it. as much of her face covered up as possible. <laughs> okay, we can upgrade weapons and such. Now I have an assault rifle, we have a pistol. Oh, I have to equip 
gear on my team, that's right. Damn, that guy's not having a good day. Oh, weapon wrong. I like sniping. Gun them for the How are you shooting at? Well, oh, there's the run. hitting the wall there. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the... Uh... Oh, so I did get a new pistol there. No, I can't. You switch the weapon. Just rank, auto level up, leveling up. Probably should be leveling up my pistols, but uh, no, get our shields up and such. But I thought I picked up a weapon, so we're working our way up here towards this. Camp. All right. External map options. No, it's got to be some way of swapping my gear around. Let's have a look. Um,
Look at that out afterwards. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Zombies. Buns are a little bit in weird positions, but I uh, have a little look around. Enjoy all the stuff first, and then we'll open this door. Interesting button combination that you got to use. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. And <laughs> once the medication kicks in. Go over there and get high, Manuel. Hey. I like the sniper rifle. It's a bit slow on the uh, the aiming and stuff. Gotta go up ahead. Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Cross.
guys go up there. So X is take all, alright. Well I want to keep doing, taking all. I can't jump down from here, I've got to go all the way around. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Hand it over. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Oh, I can't use any of these other ones. Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to get harder and harder. Feeling all your crap, guys. Yeah, for holding out on me. I don't know. Change my equipment. So equipped item is on the left. Armor, assault rifle, pistol. Let's go for the pistol. So I've got the stinger to equip. If I click the button, it equips the Kessler. All right. Yeah, we're gonna keep the Stinger 2 on. What upgrades can we spend it? I think. Oh. Sniper rifle. Oh, I can toggle between the two like that. Alright. Oh, 
with the hammer one. Omni tool armor. Okay, now that I figured this out. So the scorpion armor is actually better. Let's put that on. Alright, so it's not like we're putting on different gear pieces, it's just an armor suit. Holes feel really funky. Press and hold X to sprint while the gun is out. Commander, it's Nihilus. Look around. Chemical rounds. I'm ahead rounds. Turian, you know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us all along. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute the ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right. Damn, this gun is nice. be better uh, close range but
the hell is this guy? You guys go up there. Out, oh my god, out of the way. Okay, was there any stuff around here? There's this thing. Oh, loot. Who are you guys shooting at now? Oh my god. Headshot. <laughs> that one is pretty good for the gunfires. I think we can loot off these corpses, not yet anyway. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. One thing I really hate in games, timers. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. I, I always feel rushed. So they're on that side. I might be fast right disarming stuff. <laughs> guys move closer.
Thing. Weapon overheated and uh, the husk is right there. I'll investigate that in just a second. stuff don't think an early game like this is gonna have too much around I mean we are in kind of like a an early area so Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. 
I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into. The Geth into. haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <sighs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, so the first mission, the beacon. Uh, let's have a look. Equipment and stuff. Oh. We've got an assault rifle. I guess I can cycle between all of these. Right? So I've got a shotgun equipped, assault rifle.
Okay, I see. I wonder if I mug them as junk, what happened? Upgrades for that, for that. Summer, we got Onyx. Even though mine looks ugly right now, it's probably the best. Anyway, yeah, this video went on quite long, but I wanted to get the first mission in the first video. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll be back with, uh, with more Mass Effect in the next one. Till then, take it easy.